Hey everybody, how you doing again? Daryl RV Adventure TV. Please do not do this to your generator. This generator has been sitting for at least seven months with fuel stabilizer not run. Let's give the generator 3100 watt a try and see if we can get it to start. Stay tuned. everybody uh, just want to let everybody know that in no way does champion sponsor me or anything like this I bought this generator after doing some serious searching on the uh, reviews online and ended have this uh, unit for over uh, what a year and a half now we last used it when we got back to Louisiana November of last year but anyway put fuel stabilizer in it it's been stored here in the back of my truck ever since I don't remember if the fuel's been on or off, if I shut the uh, battery off, disconnected it. But I know I put fuel stabilizer in it. As you can see, the cover that, I, cover that I purchased for it has worn. It may have had a little rip there, but other parts of it's been doing okay. So let's take the cover off and uh, see what uh, she looks like. Again, if you want to go back and look at some of my other videos, the most popular video I have is the champion just look for my most popular uh, video under all my videos and you'll find it let's take the cover off okay as you can see with the cover off this is the 3100 watt inverter gasoline only this is not the propane version you can get them with it this is the wireless remote control start all right as you can see fuel was shut off I'm going to turn the fuel on. The, the ignition was in the off position. I'm going to turn it on. Now it is in the on position. I'm not going to hit start because I'm going to use my wireless remote. This wireless remote will automatically choke it for it to start. I can start it from out here if I want to, but I'm not going to. Let's put the switch to on. I'm going to hit the remote. Let's see what she does. And start. Hit the button one time. All right, you can see she started. She would restart on her own when you use the remote control. And she will keep trying to start until she does. And again, I'm not using the remote control. So more than likely what I did, I did the fuel off and ran it out of fuel so it wouldn't have any fuel in there. So they're just in the tank. There you go, the fourth time. Started right up, very little smoke. And that's using the remote control. How'd you do it? Uh, out here and start it, you would have used the choke here, manually. But that's what I like about the remote. You hit a one-time start, and she will automatically choke itself and run so that's pretty impressive after sitting for over six months of not being started now again you don't recommend it you should be exercising this at least once a month running it under load at least 25 to 50 percent load in my opinion to exercise the generator part and the motor part 
another reason why I bought this. I'm, I'm really impressed. And this is an actual test, people. I didn't set this up or plan it. Again, I'm not being sponsored by Champion. But if you ever have any questions concerning the Champion uh, generator, 3100 watt, max 2800, put it in the comments down below. You got the economy mode, or you can turn that off where it'll run a constant RPM to put out your maximum wattage. But with the Econo on, saves fuel. Again, look back at my older videos, check them out. We've used this to run Matty, our 42 foot fifth wheel. We use it to run our air conditioner. All the essential services on, on the rig. So check it out. Daryl RV Adventure TV.